There we go. Uh, hi, everyone, and welcome to TWF Rampage, or Ram Fruit. I am Jim Ross, here with Tony Schiavati and with Elijah Burke. And today on Rampage, or Ram Fruit, we're going to see the handicapping and awakening of Baron Corbin. The former main overseer to TWF, Jim Ross said. As you know, yesterday on Friday Night SmackDown, Diva Talks was brought back. Baron Corbin was fired as the main overseer to TWF, Jim Ross says. You got that right, Tony Schiavone says. At the end of the day, Jim Ross, we did see Baron Corbin get fired as the main overseer of the TWF. And Diva Talks is now back in oversight once again here. And the TWF, Jim Ross, Tony Schiavone says. You know what, Jim and Tony, I thought that was wrong, Elijah Burke says. What happened to Baron Corbin? Him getting fired as a main overseer of TWF by Astronema? That was truly sad. You know, that was truly sad. And I think Astronema needs to be ashamed of herself for doing that. Elijah Burke says, well, here comes Baron Corbin now. Oh, well, it seems that I'm no longer the main overseer to TWF anymore. That bitch diva talks now is again. Well, let me tell you something, Baron Corbin said. I didn't do anything that Shane Kamiki, Aries, Eric Bischoff, Lord Zed, diva talks, Kang, Luke Guy, and myself didn't do. Oh, well... I wasn't like Godzilla and Ernest P. Worrell and Ashley Williams and Sailor Moon and Jem and Xena. I wasn't like Thor, you know, or Theodore Long or any of those other, or Aladdin or Angel. So I didn't behave like them. So that's why I got fired as the main overseer of the, you know, of the, you know, of the TWF which is truly sad. And then Diva Talk says she's going to weaken me here today. She says that she's going to handicap me like I did to the Hulk and like I did to Dennis Rodman. Well, Diva Talks, I'm going to tell you what. You think I you think I you think I did the wrong thing to Dennis Rodman? You think that I did all those things to Dennis Rodman and the Hulk? You have no thought what I'm going to do. How are you going to handicap me, Diva Talks? i like to know that. So come on here now. Um, all right, Diva Talks says... You want to know, Baron Corbin, how I'm going to handicap you. You want to know how I'm going to weaken you for what you did. Now, Diva Talk says, I'm no holy woman. All right. I made mistakes. I'm flawed. I made mistakes. I'm sinful. All right. I'm a sinner. I'm an outlaw. So I'm not going to go say I'm greater than you because I never sinned because yes, I did, sadly. You, I was guilty of some of the, I was guilty of the same things you did. Oh yeah, there was Shane Kamiki in the early days and he did all his shit when he was the half owner of the TWF back in the day. Oh, then we don't forget about what Aries did, all the times he was the main overseer and matchmaker. Or what Eric Bischoff did. Or what Lord Zed did at the first time. Oh yeah, and what I did. Not forgivable. And either what Kang did later on, or what Luke Guy did in his time, or what you did, Baron Corbin. Yeah, you know, you like to say, you bring up all of them, but sometimes even Godzilla and Ernest P. Worrell, and he's in Aladdin, and Ashley Williams and Angel, sometimes he's in four... Theodore Long, Jim, Sailor Moon, and Xena were all in Theodore Long and for all guilt. Sometimes didn't do the right things, you know, at the right times. Well, I'm going to make up for that. 
here today, I said you were going to get weakened. And when Astronomer named me as the main overseer of the TWF again, I'm not going to do what I did all the other times. Oh no. So today, I'm bringing out a fellow follower of the 4-1 Bonds of Good. At least I hope he's a follower of the 4-1 Bonds of Good. Bobo Fofat, or whatever his name is. Yeah, well, Elgar says, I don't know if he's a follower of the 4-1 Bonds of Good or a follower of the 4-1 Bonds of Evil. I guess he's a follower of the 4-1 Bonds of Good. Bobo Bebat, whatever his name is. Well, don't really how you say my name or not, Diva Talks. But yeah, thank you for bringing me to the TWF. Have fun, Diva Talk says. It's Bobo Bevat, Bobo Bebot, fighting Baron Corbin here today on Rampage or Ramfruit. And forgive all those Star Wars followers out there of folks who I don't keep up with Disney Star Wars or anything they're doing in Disney Lucas Films these days. But I do know he's a follower for one Bonds of Good. So, Bobo Fufat, whatever your name is, have fun fighting Baron Corbin here today, Diva Talk says. Yeah, Elgar says, beat the shit out of him if you want. Well, let me tell you. Oh, I like, like I'm going to be frightened of some man who wears a head shield and, and talks like he's talking for a walker talker. <laughs> I'm gonna be there, and I think I'm a good, I think I'm a frightening son of a bitch. But you're not, Baron Corbin says. I'll knock that head cap, head shield right off your head. I'll show everyone your ugly leer. If you haven't shown any of the Star Wars films, or shows, or whatever the fuck. So, yeah, Baron Corbin, we all know at the end of the day, you think that I'm frightened of you. Think again. I'm not. Oh, you got a gun. Oh, okay, Baron Corbin says. Yeah, now we know how we're going to play. I'm not going to work the gun because it's not, that's not. Oh, ding, 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 ding. Baron Corbin is beating up on Bobo Bebop. Beda, whatever his name is, Bofat, or whatever his name is, Jim Ross said. Forgiveness to all the Star Wars followers out there that we're going to get on up for not knowing his name. Oh. And Baron Corbin just knocked him down, Jim Ross said. Well, Tony Schiavotti said, it seems that Baron Corbin might not be the main overseer to TDF anymore. But it seems that he is still a creep. And a bully and a heel. Tony Schiavotti said, yeah, Elijah Burke said, oh, in the end of days, and there goes Bobo B. Fat, whatever his name is, getting going down, Elijah Burke said. And Baron Corbin is going to give him the beatdown of a lifetime. So much for the weakening and handicapping that Astronomer and later on Divatox had in mind for him, Elijah Burke says. One, two, and only a kick out, Jim Ross says. It said... Bova Fifa, whatever his name is, you know, got Baron Corbin in a body slam, Jim Ross said. Well, Tony Schiavone said he has a gun. Someone's going to make a big thing about him having a gun, but he's not going to shoot his gun, Tony Schiavone says. Oh, wait a minute, he got him now. Flying up in the air. Ah, oh, he just knocked down Baron Corbin. And the fight lord fell down. The fight... The, the match keeper fell down again. And Baron Corbin getting body slammed. And here comes Dodo Bevat. Whatever his name is. Oh! It's over. He's going to beat Baron Corbin here today on Rampage or Ramfruit, Tony Schiavone says. Well, we did see him come off and take a splash on him, Jim Ross said. And he's going to get the one, two, three. Come on, Elijah Burks. Don't lose to this creep. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner. Bobo B. Fat. Well, it looks like Bobo B. Fat has won his first match, his first fight here in the toy wrestling gathering, Jim Ross said. 
He came from the Glassport Thrift Middle yesterday. So today is the first day, full day being here in the Toy Wrestling Gathering, Jim Ross says. Well, I can tell you that, a lot, uh, Tony Schiavone said. We might not know his name. We don't know if he's a follower of 4-1 Bonds of Good or not. But we all know that he just beat Baron Corbin. Well, Elijah Burke says he thinks he's so great. And the fight keeper is now out of the ring now. And he thinks, oh! Oh! And Baron Corbin just nailed him from behind. And took him down at the end of days. All right, you Star Wars mother, you Star Wars son of a bitch. You think you're so cool and everything, you're not. See, I'm done getting this shit done to me. Yeah, I'm sick of dealing with fucks like you, shitheads like you. Yeah, you beat me, big bloody deal. I got the laugh, laugh on you, cause who's on the ground? You are, not me. Well, it seems that Bovo Vipat, or whatever his name is, uh, <clears throat> you know, may have won the match, but it was Baron Corbin who got the last laugh on him, Elijah Burke says. Would you stop, Jim Ross said. He didn't get no last laugh on him. He's a bully and a heel and a creep. Uh, Jim Ross said, yes he is, Tony Schiavone said. A bully and a heel and a creep. That's all he is. And standing by now, we got Gorilla Monsoon. Thank you, Jim Ross and Tony Schiavone. I'm going to be talking with a new follower. I'm going to be talking today. I'm going to be talking with the shameful Baron Corbin. All right, Baron Corbin, you're no longer the main overseer of the TWF anymore. But you're still a bully hill and a creep. Well, let me tell you something, Gorilla Monsoon. You think I care about what you think of me? And first off, who the hell was Bobo Fifat? What has he ever done? Some bullshit self from Star Wars, which everyone, which everyone either likes or doesn't like. Me, I never really gave a shit about it. Back when it was owned by Lucas Films, either when Lucas Films got bought by a Walt Disney business. I don't care. He comes in, says he's going to weaken me down. Oh, he beat me, but I got the last laugh on him, huh? Well, so, instead of having a bind with the Hulk or the Big or Mora or Dennis Rodman, now you got to fight, you got to bind with Bobo B, with Bubba B Fat. Now, what kind of name is that anyway, Gorilla Monsoon? I mean, what the hell are the weird names they come up with. I mean, why is it that everyone in the Star Wars world can have, how I gotta have these weird names? Well, I don't care. And how I don't care if I'm saying his name right or wrong or whatever. I got the last laugh on him, Gorilla Monsoon. I dropped him like a bad way. I gave him the last the end of days. Yeah, he beat me, but I beat him up after the match. It's not who wins the match, Gorilla Monsoon. It's who's standing. And I was last standing. Well, that's my talk with Baron Corbin. Back to you, Jim Ross and Tony Schiavone. Well, thank you, Gorilla Monsoon, for talking with... Thank you, Gorilla Monsoon, for talking with Baron Corbin here today on Rampage or Ram Fruit. And that's all the time we got here. I, Jim Ross, I, Tony, I, Jim Ross, Tony Schiavone, and Elijah Burke. We hope you like Rampage or Ram Fruit, and we'll see you tomorrow for Collision or Hit or Strike.